Uh, foreign Minister, pěkný pozdrav z Bruselu. Secretary General, dear friends, welcome to the Tunis Exchange Forum. Though I cannot be with you in person, I wanted to share a few thoughts with you. Allow me firstly to thank the Anna Lind Foundation for the opportunity to speak at this important forum. Not so long ago, I spoke at the Anna Lind Forum in Barcelona. This was at the time of relative calm before the gathering storm. Who could have imagined in Barcelona in March 2010 that a little over a year later, those voices in a communal chorus of anger and courage would have contributed so much to the deep changes in the region. Over the past months, we have witnessed a rapid turning of historic pages in the southern neighborhood. It is fitting that the event takes place in Tunisia, where the Arab Spring originated and which has done already so much to ensure the development of a vibrant civil society. Indeed, we are now starting to see all across the Arab world some positive responses to your democratic aspirations and efforts. These have indeed been a tumultuous time, but you have won the respect and admiration of new friends and secured relations with old ones. Europe, too, has also learned from your struggles and successes and has significantly changed gear in the defense of local democratic forces in the region. We have moved from what may have been termed a prescriptive process to an understanding that the new scenarios are people-driven initiatives. That is where our support is and will continue to be. We offer our partners our experience, expertise and assistance towards democratic reform. While we do not offer a blueprint for this exercise of reform, nor do we try to impose our model, there can be no one-size-fits-all approach. Diversity and differentiation are the key words. We intend to ensure that each partner can tailor their relations according to their own intrinsic needs and aspirations. We acknowledge that the engines of change and reform are being driven by people and that civil society organizations are at the crux of communicating the people's wishes and ensuring inclusiveness and public accountability. Europe needs to enhance dialogue with civil society organizations by developing further our existing consultation mechanism. The communication on the European Union Neighbourhood Policy Review proposes two new instruments to channel European Union support to civil society. The civil society facility, which will help civil society organisations develop their advocacy capacity and support them in their monitoring of reforms, and the Endowment for Democracy, which will help political actors, trade unions and social partners that are striving for democratic change and who have not been able to benefit from the European Union support so far. The Tunis Exchange Forum offers a fitting stage to exchange views on your actions in these endeavours and on our supporting role. I wish you all the best over the coming days and look forward to hearing the outcomes of your various discussions.